Let's start 2023 off with some crazy 3D prints. Check these out. What's up and welcome back. It's been a while. In today's video, we're talking about a massive 3D printing project that our team has been working on for way too long now. Similar to a few of the older videos that I posted on this channel, this one is for another massive set of terrain for our gaming community. We have sculpted and designed an entire world that we've called Pirates vs. Sailors Nightmare at Sea. I'm gonna play the trailer now and then we'll jump into it. Remember, everything that you see here is 100% designed from scratch, 3D printed and then painted by our team right here in Calgary, Canada. Enjoy. the skull and crossbow. Okay, so hopefully you like those models. We wanted to start off 2023 with some ambitious sculpts and prints for our gaming community. And I think we did just that. Now, if you're interested in getting any of these files or these models, as always, it's linked in the description. The Kickstarter is live now. And if you're watching this video shortly after it's being posted, then you still got a chance at those early bird discounts. Let's take a closer look at some of the models and talk about what it really takes to bring a project like this to life and kind of how we went about designing them and printing them. So let's jump into it and let's start with my favorite. That is the ships. You can see we did two large ships for the Pirates versus Sailors theme. And each uh, clan, if you will, gets its own ship. They're sort of inspired by a mixture of Pirates of the Caribbean and old European sailing ship architecture. They are pretty cool, I think. Now the ships come designed to be standing and supported on their bases. You can see that there are those three large connecting supports, but uh, the ships can also just sit flat on the table if you remove the bottom piece of them. Either option works. Additionally, they are fully modular, multi-level and pre-split so they can be printed support free on pretty much any FDM printer, including an Ender 3 or a Prusa. Now, if you're interested in the design process, pretty much we have a 2D artist. He sketches up a bunch of these and then we go ahead and we sculpt them in ZBrush. And then we split the files up in a program called Magix. Now, we do get a ton of questions about filaments so I wanna show you a new filament company that I found a while back and they just produce some really high quality filament at good prices. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we go through a ton of filament and Voxel PLA has saved us a lot of money on our recent filament purchases. They are also the sponsor of this video and I'm super excited about the partnership. Here's why I like them. Voxel PLA themselves, they run a print farm and if you know 3D printing, then you know how frustrating it is when things go wrong. And at the scale of the 150 printers that they run, reliable and high quality filament is a must and they do deliver on that. Each spool is only $16.99 and you get free shipping on orders of two or more if they're in the US. Pretty solid filament at that price and we put several rolls of it to use on this project and the prints look spectacular as uh, hopefully you can see in our models. Now, if you're like us and you use a ton of filament, you can also take advantage of their discount on five or more rolls. I highly recommend checking them out. Everyone is always asking about filament, so here is another fantastic resource and uh, you're also supporting a local business with your purchase. Now, speaking of filament, the docks are huge. Okay, they take quite a bit of filament, but uh, they are spectacular. So if you've seen our previous videos, you may also notice that the docks tie in really well with some of our past campaigns. I'll pop some pictures of those up here to show you and you can get all of the file sets for those previous campaigns as well. Now, 
If anything is too big, the docks or the ships, you can scale them all down. I will note that the ships are designed to fit within the dock. So uh, if you're scaling one thing down, just scale everything down the same amount. Now, those are the four main sculpts. Let's talk about the accessory pieces and the stretch goal list because this campaign is truly massive. There's a ton of files that come with it. So it wouldn't be a true battle without some shipwrecks, which is why we basically took the ships and then sculpted a wrecked version of them. I'll show those on the screen now. And again, as always, everything is designed for support free printing. So don't be intimidated by the shape. Um, we've also included with the main file set two lookout towers and two lighthouses and of course keeping the theme together you'll see that they do match uh, with the pirates and with the sailors now where things get crazy is the stretch goals okay the stretch goals on this campaign it's crazy there's over 40 additional models that can be unlocked during the campaign i'll show them uh, on the screen here now, you'll notice that there's tons of them. Some are nice little accessory pieces while others are full massive sculpts. My favorite are these two and I've already sculpted these ones. Now, this campaign has taken months and months of work and it wouldn't be possible without the entire team at Crate 3D. So thank you to everyone and a special shout out to Aaron, our painter, who gets lots of comments and compliments about the painting. I'll throw a link to Aaron's contact details on our Kickstarter page. That's it for this video. I know it's been a while. We've got some crazy projects going on behind the scenes. We're excited to show you those soon. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.